<clears throat> Good morning, everybody. It's Chance. Um, I know I spoke about this once before, and I honestly thought that I was cleared to come back, which is why I did that song yesterday, but I have some bad news. I do, unfortunately, have to quit music for a very long time. Now, I don't know if it'll be for good or not, but the other are probably wondering why I made that post, what happened, what's going on. Well, I'm about to give you guys an answer. You see, last night, I was laying down watching TV and we got this voice message on my mom's phone. Now we didn't know who it was and so like we didn't recognize the number. So we go to check it and it was my, my doctor who is my specialist for my medical stuff. Like he's my specialist, makes sure I'm able to do what I need to do and keeps me in check. Well, he explained to me last night and to us that if I do not stop music right now, my voice could be gone for good. If I do not stop, my vocals could blow and I will be mute for the rest of my life. I will not be able to do anything. And I know what you guys are thinking, well, Machine Gun Kelly did it. And yeah, I know he did. I get that. And I'm proud of him for that. But you also have to understand, too, I'm not willing to blow my vocals. I'm not willing to go that far and destroy my voice. And you guys don't understand that doing metal screen vocals... From 2010, when I started up until now, if you don't do, which in the beginning I wasn't doing it properly, that'll take its toll on you. If you start out doing it the wrong way, and then over time you learn how to do it the right way instead of doing it the right way right off the bat, it'll mess your vocals up really bad, and that's unfortunately what happened to me. I was never taught the right to learn. And, you know, it took its toll on me. So, unfortunately, <clears throat> I don't know if you can tell by my voice or not, but I do have to leave the music world behind. for a while until things get better, if they get better. I don't know if they will or not. But I can assure you that at this point, you guys are left in the hands, in very good hands, of my three brothers. Aiden Schroeder, Brendan Wright, and Ian Duxworth. AKA Young Fox, Demon, and Bradley. You were left in the hands of my three good brothers who will be taking my place. Now, rest assured, if I do get medically cleared, I will come back. But that's if I get medically cleared by the doctors first. And I want you all to know that I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys have been the best fans ever over these last eight years. You know, you guys have been truly gracious and amazing and very supportive. But also, I am looking, this, looking at this as a blessing as well. 
because maybe he wants me to do something else for a while. Maybe this is his way of saying, hey, you need to stop, slow down, and do something else for a while. So that's what I'm doing. So like I said, guys, if if I do get medically cleared, I will come back to doing music. But for the time being, I have to step away. Not because I want to, but because I have to. Because like I said before, if I blow my voice, that's it. I'm done. I will permanently lose my voice if I blow it. And I'm not willing to risk that. I'm not willing to risk losing my voice. Yes, people like Machine Gun Kelly got very lucky. But I'm not willing to go that route. I'm not willing to risk destroying my voice and never being able to speak, let alone sing, ever again. I'm not willing to do that. Um, if you guys are just now joining, um, if you guys don't know, last week I had a vocal blowout and I almost lost my voice because I've been doing melodic scream vocals for so long in the wrong way that I finally caught up to me and I almost lost my voice because of it. And being me, I took a week off, thought I was good to come back. But last night, we got the call from our specialist because I went in, you know, between that time period again to the doctor to see how everything was doing. And they, my specialist told us that he would call us back with an answer. Well, last night we got that unfortunate answer. And that is... He gave me two options. I can either quit music and save my voice, or I can take the risk, knowing the risks, and I can blow my vocals for good, and I will never be able to speak or sing ever again. So, I have to make the smart decision. I have to do what's right for me. And what's right for me is stepping down from the music scene and saving my voice until I can get medically cleared. Now, I don't know how long that'll be. I really don't know. It could be a month. It could be a few weeks. Hell, it could be a year or two. Who knows? But I can promise you guys that I will still do stuff, not music-wise, but I will still put out content. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing reaction videos. Um, I'll be doing more gameplay videos for my gaming channel, GamerZone. And stuff like that. Now, I may try to put out one or two books. I don't know, because if you guys don't know, I do write. So I may jump back into writing, see what I can do. I don't know. But at this point, I have to quit music for a while until they can medically clear me. And it kills me because music's all I've ever the last eight years. I spent so much time, so much energy and effort into doing it that that's all I know. So like I said, you know, maybe this is God's way of saying I need to slow down.
And that's exactly what I'm doing, Seth. I am letting my brothers, Young Fox, Bratley, and B-Man take over my position for me until I am medically clear to come back. So like I said, you guys will be getting new music from Bloodshot Records. That's not going to change, but you just won't be hearing anything from me for a while until I am medically clear. And believe me, I was, I was almost in tears when I got the news last night. I was destroyed. <clears throat> like, I was really destroyed. And yeah, it scared me. This last vocal block, I'll admit, I was scared shitless. I thought I was done for good. But to find out that if I don't stop now, that I could potentially permanently damage and destroy my vocals to where I can never speak or sing again. Do you have any idea how scary that really is? Imagine that you're a singer or a rapper or whatever. And you get told by the doctors that you need to either quit or you're going to lose your voice. Do you have any idea how scary that is? Like, that scared the living hell out of me. That, that made me realize that I need to step down from music for a while. until I can get medically clear. And it kills me because I had songs, I had three or four songs right now ready to record. But I can't do this for a while and that's, and that's understandable. I can't do them because I'm not able to at this point. And it, it, it kills me. It really does. It, it kills me. Do I regret doing my vocals the way I did over the years? Yes, I do very much so. Because if I had done it smart, I would have taken the lessons that I needed in the beginning. But I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't know about the video series that helped me get to where I'm at now, which is the Zen of Screaming series. I had no idea about that. And I don't even think it was around back then. <coughs> but... I want you guys to know that I've not given up, that this is merely just a setback that at some point I will overcome. But right now I am, I am unable to. But I will be putting out stuff, like I said, I will be doing a lot, a lot of reaction videos. And I will be doing a lot of gameplay video on my new gaming channel, Gamertop. Um, I may go live today on YouTube for my gaming channel. But, you know, I thought I was medically clear, but I was wrong. I wasn't medically clear. And it sucks. But I do want to thank you guys for all.
the love and support that you've shown me over these eight years. You guys have been some of the best fans in the world to me. I don't take a single one of you for granted. Sorry if you heard that. That was my net. Oh, I slipped on it wrong. But, you know, the point is, I appreciate every single one of you guys. I really do. Because you guys have given me the best years of my life in music. And I hope that you guys will still continue to support me in this new chapter of my life as I leave behind my old life as a music artist and pursue my new career as a YouTuber until I can get medically cleared by the doctors to come back. I hope that you guys will support that. Because there is nothing I would love more than your guys' support in this next chapter of my life. Will I ever be able to come back? Only time will tell. But at this point, I have to do what's right and step into the next chapter of my life. And, you know, like I said, hopefully I'll be able to come back from this. I, but hopefully I'll be able to at some point. But right now, like I said, I'm not seeing this as a tragedy. I'm looking, to, looking at this as a blessing in disguise. Because like I said, what happened and what's going on, I'm taking this as God's way of saying that I need to slow down, I need to take a break, and I need to do other things for a while. I'm not looking at it as a tragedy. As I said, I'm looking at it as a blessing in disguise. But um, I do have one final song that I recorded yesterday that's out on YouTube. If you guys would like to hear it, I can send it to you. Um, you guys can also find some of my music on Spotify. So if you want the link for that, I'll send you that. Um, I'll send you whatever music links you guys would like to hear of my songs from the past. So let me know. And yeah. But anyways, guys, I love every single one of you. And again, I do hope that you will follow me on the, into the next chapter of my life. I love every single one of you guys. And... I hope that I managed to help all of you in some way, shape, or form. I really do. I really do hope that my music has helped you and that it continues to help you as I take the journey into the next step of my life away from the music scene and into recovery and doing other things with my life. Anyways. I love you guys. Stay rocking out. Stay safe. And don't let anybody tell you that you can't follow your dreams. Because you can follow your dreams. Anyways. I love every single one of you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. And like I said, I'll be seeing you guys later.